and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Dark Iran chipping away at an ever ungrateful galaxy. Rotten bastards. Hello, ever ungrateful galaxy. <laughs> Rotten bastards, the whole, the whole lot of them. I have no idea what we last left off doing. I am in the wrong thing to look check my assignments. <laughs> okay. Oh, we still have Miranda. That's right. Last thing we do is help Jacob with his um father oh, issues. Yeah. Right. I guess it's time to go help Miranda. Indeed. But first. Looted. There, one hundred percent looted. <laughs> so let's hit Ilum and help Miranda with her family issues. We also have to talk with Liara while we're here or something. No, we do that. We can do that a little later. Okay. Mm, someone who'd be good right. for this. Jacob, actually, because it'd be. Oh, wrong button. I guess. He actually would be good for this. Well, she's got a few points to spend. <laughs> I wonder why! Never fucking use her. Of course not. Casually allowing us to carry what passes as a nuclear weapon. You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. Yeah, if only it wasn't such a... I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. It can't be replaced. It's a token from my bondmate. It's the only thing my child has to remember her father by. Please, if you find it... No. That sounds an awful lot like a, hey, look for this random collectible item quest. Are we going to? What do you think? Yes. Okay, then. Do you have anything flashier? I want something that says, I own this room. I own you. I'll see what we mm. can do, sir. She just sounds more and more exasperated by the moment. This is a recall note. Yeah. All users of Coro's brand medical. Anyway, as I was saying. Yeah, we could learn from the Unity. We could also learn how to not have such a big fucking nest of crime. I mean, to be fair, Ilum was intended to be that from the start. Hey, you. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, you. Oh, you got a problem with me? You, Shepard. That one's for free. You'll regret the next one. Now, who are you and what's your problem? Like you don't know, your friend came into my bar, harassed my people, and tried to get the deed to the place. That crap might fly on Omega, but Ilium has laws. I've got security feeds all over my bar. If you or your group bothers my people again, I'll have you arrested so fast, you'll redshift on your way to the prison transport. That doesn't make sense. We should investigate this bar. That's actually perplexing because I don't... I don't know what she's talking about. Wait, yeah, is this... You weren't here before, but we know who you are. Commander Shepard, squad mate, practically second in command. You don't want to mess with me. Oh no. I'm gonna save the galaxy. That's right. Anybody messing with me will answer to my good friend, Commander Shepard. Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard, is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel? I wanted to become a Spectre? You're alive! Oh, 
This is the happiest day of my life. Hit him. Shoot his foot. Crying out loud. Conrad, why are you acting like me? Well, you were gone, right? And the galaxy still needed protecting. So I decided to finish what you started in your honor. How did you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off world. <laughs> and the background's like, oh, no wonder. Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. <laughs> the Asari are how advanced? And this is what they do with it? Money is still power. Same old, same old. We'd do the same if we could. Okay, so where the fuck is this undercover cop? I'm gonna guess it's gateway personal defense. Yeah, it'd say the weapons merchant, so... And there's really only one in the, uh, area, so... <sighs> How much of a moron can you be? If this is the best you have, I'll make do. But you're certain the neural stimulators are compatible with both my suit and Asari physiology? Absolutely. In fact, I use this model at home, sir. Oh. Do you? <sighs> Engage renegade mode. Shoot him in the foot. Damn thing. Or, as Tally would do, Jack his suits all factory sensors, so everything smells like refuse. <coughs> Actually, I actually can do that. Uh, yes. Forgot about this guy. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. I overheard you talk. Is this the data you're looking for? The Corosa Generational Archive. You found it. Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. There's your data. I hope it helps oh, you. Yeah. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Uh, anyway. Uh, no, that's Tally's reaction if you bring her along to deal with the, um, the Volus and the CSEC guy that was harassing the Corian on the Citadel. Oh. Yeah, and if Garrus is standing there during during all that, when she says that, his only re response is, "Remind me not to get on your bad side." That's horrible. There's a 12-page contract for shipping and a waiver for use. I charge I recognize that armor. You're with that other guy, Werner, Commander Shepard's friend. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to uh stop the red sand dealers. <laughs> when the uh, Paragon option is a lie. Yeah. I'm kind of curious. I softened up the bar owner, but you need to go in and finish them off. Really? Are you sure? Absolutely. You just need to close the deal. Go in, be tough, and let them know you're with me. They'll hand the deed right over. Wow, great. Here, <laughs> I'll set you up for a discount. Thanks for the help. Yeah, let's see how well that goes over. Probably not ready. 
Yeah, I can't wait to see how it goes. But mm -hmm. while we're here... I'll take yeah, that's, that looks very useful. That looks very useful. I mean, it's all quite useful. Yeah. Except so that. So we're getting a of... Never mind. <laughs> And so to say, that's what that's what we're getting out of it, and then we did These are the terminus systems. Everything's dangerous, and everything's for sale. Either we tax and monitor it to keep the control. plans to sue the Citadel Council. The materials claim that slavery is an inextricable part of their caste system. Yeah, yeah, we know. Listening to the PA system. Blah blah blah, something about the Batarians complaining that slavery is an inextricable part of their cultural uh, tra traditions and the council's ban on slavery is suppre suppressing their cultural rights. There's a reason they've been kicked out of the council. They were never on the council. Well, they've been kicked out of the. Uh, uh, to be fair, they, di they didn't. They weren't kicked out of the embassies. They left. Why? Because nobody would stick up, because no one would stick up for them when the humans started encroaching on their space. Yeah, basically. This is just a misunderstanding. Tell it to the judge. My surveillance vids caught your extortion attempt from four different angles. I was misled. I was told that you had agreed to sell. Take her away before I have my bartender throw her out. <laughs> You know, what does it tell you about this place when blue suns are apparently the, the law enforcement? Mm -hmm. What happened? The undercover cop from the weapons kiosk just got arrested. You blew her cover. It was a sting. <laughs> she wasn't a cop. She was a deep cover operative from a terrorist cell. I'd never have found her if not for you. Really? Mm -hmm. Really. You did a great job, Conrad. Now please go home. Let me take it from here. Can do, Shepard. And thanks. It's really good to have you back. <sighs> and please don't come back. <laughs> it's gonna come back, isn't it? We wouldn't be so lucky, would we? Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. <coughs> anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athena, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Catch you anything? Matriarch. <laughs> yeah, what's that? Sorry, like... Matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Yeah, that's quite the... <laughs> Yeah. Your mother fought in the Krogan rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando <laughs> stuff. She would put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. <laughs> you said your father fought in the Rachni Wars. What well, is Yeah, huh? when he was young. I, Love I wonder showing what off the are like. Krogan think they're sexy. Me. I go for asses. <laughs> When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen in a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. <laughs> <laughs> if your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. But what happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? Oh. What a kick in the quad. Yeah. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw up with Saren and his geth a few years back. 
Her ships were hanging yeah, there out in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't going to cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. So that's her wise knowledge. I mean, accurate. I mean, I'd say she's probably the white one of the wisest Asari we've met. Yeah. <laughs> It's called a. Like, given, she's got this given superpower. This thing going she's got this superpower called common sense. Yeah, basically. What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. <coughs> and one day you wake Fair up, enough. your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. I wish we Thanks could just ask that. <laughs> That's what I'm here for, babe. Get when anything do they look inside their suits? Just looking around. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. I don't see any balls. Yeah, at least they're not for Krogan, those who would usually kill people. <laughs> so then he says, Oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go natural. I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date humans. So then I had to explain about cross species fluid contact. Completely killed the mood. Not to mention that you're a Quarian. How could he be so insensitive? <laughs> You know, I seem to recall yeah. there being a quest, a little mini quest that led me here, but I can't fucking remember where where it starts. Hmm. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Oriana's family to the terminal instead. He didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lentea will follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I doubt Eclipse will send all nope. their people just to stop you. Do you want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. I'm Fair ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. <laughs> right. Alright, Jacob. Let's have some fun. Time to see if she's gonna prove herself to not be it. Eclipse must be our gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. Mm. They won't hold get that fire. chance to anyone. I said hold fire, damn it! Not my smoothest landing. I got this. We've uh, given Shepard's word, I don't think he was driving. 
Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. Wait, Miranda. You said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birthday. You took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? You don't want to talk to the captain. She's not as polite as I am. Oh, don't worry, neither are we. She's the best <laughs> commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things to... <laughs> I give him credit for having the balls to keep trying. Yeah. Did they really just miss a uh, target out in the open twice? To be fair, those missiles do move pretty slowly. Yeah, but they're supposed to have a bit of tracking to them. I guess they didn't. <laughs> Because they were moving in pretty straight. Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard. I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But, well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who mm -hmm. use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. If Eclipse knows where Oriana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. Fair enough. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Jacob standing behind her like, thanks. <laughs> right. Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. Let's go find Niket and Orion. Right. You know, assuming he's still alive. Indeed. They're on the far side of the conveyor line. Time your shots. Time your shots. So, hand cannon. Incoming! Hello oh, there. Down! Off our combat drone! Watch for fire! Oh. Ah. 
That would be painful. Uh, acceptable losses. Now we can the wish we have brought Ali so we could have uh, sent Air Combat Drone against. Oh. Acceptable damage, you say? Shut up. It's not like it sent me back far. Unlike the previous game, this game actually has decent checkpoints. Yeah, that tends to be rather important. Wish that we had one there. Think what this one did it better than you did it, son. Dang it! Didn't get down fast enough. This makes and she's very much aware that all they will do is no stop. Pretty much. Bad enemy reload. You could say so. Okay then. Fucking yeet much? Yeah, that was uh, quite the right one. And there he goes. Shotgun stagger is a wonderful thing to have. Indeed. But this is like as good to have as Fluffy Tales. I mean, both are nice, just preferably not at the same time. I don't know, I'm pretty sure you could use a shotgun without having Fluffy Tales. Okay, that's a different kind of having Fluffy Tales. So are we talking about attached to you or just being wrapped up in it? I mean. I can probably do both. You guys will also enjoy the feeling of my own profiteers, I can't say it goes with that. Alright. This thing is so okay. fucking inaccurate. But yeah. Just spray and pray the gun. Mm-hmm. Woo! Oh, Missed me! Mm. Are you saying you wouldn't write yourself, yourself in your own fluffy tails if you could? I probably would refrain from having the fluffy tails if I'm being perfectly honest. Mm. Just die. Ah, that's too far. Dead yet? Incoming. You know what? For it. Hold 
good word for a dead person. We can cut down through the cargo line. Astute observation there, Exo. You know, it always begs the question, why are these dead bodies here? I didn't kill them. And who just leaves, you know, crates of refined Ezo lying around? That's just valuable. What, nothing? Eclipse operatives have attempted to delay you by disabling the elevators. I am overriding their lockdown. You're up! Ram? There you are. Mount that one. There you are. Have some technical difficulties, please. Look at me, Shepard. Deploy combat drone. Deploy combat drone. I had to move you to another channel. I'm back. <laughs> well then. So I can't manage to skip on this. Don't mind the technical difficulties. Yeah. What is it you said once? It wouldn't be one of our streams without some technical difficulties. Yeah. It's not that everything goes wrong. It's not that it's, it's more than that it's just not possible to go along one recording session without <laughs> something going wrong. Oh, so you caught that dialogue here, right? Uh, which one? Uh, the captain said, Niket's reached the terminal. He'll switch the family over to our transport. Uh, That's not maybe right. Maybe the captain knows we're listening in, and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't the thing go any faster? Did the cat know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. You know it, Miranda. If you don't think he'd betray you, then I'm sure there's another explanation. I don't know, damn it. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Indeed. So did she actually force speed up the elevator? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... This should be fun. <laughs> Niket, you sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness, you weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully. No trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. And you finally told me what you'd done. And I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. How much did Miranda's father pay you? A great deal. Damn it, Niket! You were the only one I trusted from that life. He knew you felt that way. That's why he bought me. So you just took his money? Don't get holy with me, Miri. You took his money for years. 
Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. You don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Miri. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. Doesn't that tell you what he really is? I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty. But kidnapping a kid? I'm not stealing her. I'm rescuing her. <laughs> Come on, Niket. Let's finish this bitch off and get out of here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that outfit? You don't want to You're working you. for Miranda's father. That means he knows about Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Mary, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. I'm going Miranda, to... wait. You don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Oh. I'll tell him that you hit her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Nikit. Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. You'll die for that, bitch! Yeet! Hasta! Well, really should have sent that one coming. I mean, she did just blast this random dock worker, so yeah. When did you get the Kinawa type? It's 14 or something, yeah. That timing on the on the barrier refresh. Locket is a picture of an Asari and human man. It doesn't look expensive, but likely holds sentimental value. Almost yeah, like we were looking for that. that. I'll pay for that? Get ready to burn. Where'd he go? You think they realized uh, the captain is dead and everyone else has been fucking shred. Like that. There could be more eclipse mercs near the shuttle. I mean, that might be a bit much, but uh, <laughs> I guess Swiss chases another form of shredding. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I can't believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human, just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal, and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch. You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except the cat. Weakness on my part? He can't toss aside everything you care about just to be safe. It's okay, Shepard. My father hurt me, but he didn't break me. As much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted, I'm my own person. You still have Oriana? My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. Oh. Now let's go actually rescue her, goddammit. <laughs> no sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family.
Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details. But would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Oh. Go on. We'll wait here. A little more sympathetic. Just a bit. <laughs> She's crying. Miranda's sister and her family successfully placed at location redact. Mother's new job pays well enough to ensure comfort and ease. We'll keep Oriana under observation for her safety only. Miranda Lawson too valuable to Cerberus, and Oriana's well-being is easiest means of procuring loyalty. Miranda remains loyal to Cerberus and trusts Shepard. So yeah, she's a bit more sympathetic now. Yeah. Commander in the middle of a disagreement. Can you head it off before they tear out a bulkhead? I'll deal with it. Take pictures. <laughs> Take pictures. <coughs> yeah, he can't really move around much. Smear the world with you, bitch! Enough! Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly, you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. Our mission is too important to let personal feelings get in the way. Fuck your feelings. I just want her dead. You both know what we're up against. Save your anger for the Collectors. I can put aside my differences. Until the mission's over. Sure, I'll do my part. I'd hate to see her die before I get a chance to fillet her myself. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. In Miranda's defense, storming in on her after that happened probably wasn't wasn't the best option idea. Probably not. <sighs> women. Hey. <laughs> Commander, you've received a new message at your private time. Okay, who's sending me mail now? Who oh, is it this time? <clears throat> From Leslie. I'm Leslie. I was on Aya. The food made me sick. The doctors are helping now. One doctor knows Jacob. He says he can tell you this. He could write this for me, but I want to do it. I need to use my words. My words are coming back. I can talk well. Reading is hard, but I am getting better. I have to get better. Taylor wanted me like this. He wanted my words gone. I have to show him that he lost. I am not weak. He did things to me, and he can't now. He can't take away my words. He can't make me not me anymore, because you and Jacob stopped him. At least we know, you know, they're getting better. Yeah, well, at least one of them is. I can, it's safe to assume if one of them is, all the survivors are. To be fair, Leslie was the doctor back down there, right? I she was the, one of the few that was still somewhat uh, conscious about things. Ah, uh, that's hard to say. Anyway, that was a fun little side trip. Yeah. Could be better, could be worse. But, we just have Tally and whoever our final squad mate's going to be. Yeah. So, we can get all, all that together and a bunch of other side questing next time. Next time. Bye bye. Later.